So let's say you invest when you're 25, okay? You invest 3,000 Rand per month for a period of 14 years because in South Africa, you can invest a maximum of 3,000 Rand a month in a tax-free investment. Tax-free investments are kept at 36,000 Rand per year, 500,000 Rand per lifetime, and it would take you just over uh, 14 years to get there. So if you do that, if you max everything out from age 35, and we're assuming 11% return, we just add a minus 4% from here for inflation, giving us uh, a real return of 7% a year. Okay, it's a very modest 7% a year with the right kind of portfolio and the right kind of risk, you can get a bigger return. And we leave that funds, that 500,000 Rand that you've invested over 14 years, we leave it in the investment for a period of 30 years. So see it as your retirement savings. Okay, the final return that you would get is 2,472,569 rands. Okay, and because it's in the tax-free platform, zero taxes upon withdrawal. Okay, so you can see by just investing 3,000 rand a month, only for 14 years, you can get this kind of return. So compared to investing at 35, all right, to get the similar sort of return, you would have to invest 6,000 Rand a month. And according to the tax-free rules, only half of this will go into a tax-free investment. So you have to invest 6,000 Rand a month for a period of 17 and a half years. Assuming a return rate of 7%, and we leave this investment in there for 28 years, that would give you a result of 2,525,508 rands. Okay, but the big difference here is at 35, you will have to make a total investment of 1,552,000 rands some change in order to get an on par investment. So you can see now the value of investing early and the value of time in the market. At 25, you only have to invest 500,000 rand to get that almost 2.5 million. Whereas at 35, you'd have to invest almost 1.8 million rand to get a similar 2.5 million. So if you choose to wait even longer, let's say age 45 to start investing, this is what it could look like. You would have to invest 15,000 Rand a month for 9.7 years. Okay, not all of that will be in a tax-free platform. 3,000 will go into a tax-free platform, the balance into, let's say, a unit trust, for example. Okay, you'd have to make this investment for almost 7.9 years. Assuming a 7% return, you'd have to keep this investment in here for almost 30 years to get the same almost 2.5 million rands. Key thing to note here is that you would have to invest uh, almost 1,750,000 rand to get that same 2.5 million. So it's your choice really. Invest early at around 25, you'll only have to invest 3,000 rand a month for a period of 14 years, your total contribution being 500,000 rands. Invest 6,000 rands per month at age 35 for a period of 17 and a half years, and the total contribution there would be almost 1.3 million. Or invest at 45, 15,000 rand a month for 9.7 years, and the total contribution there would be 1,750,000 or so, and all of which is giving you a rough return of around 2.5 million over a period of 28 to 30 years. Okay, so now you can see the value of time on the market. You got to start early. If you don't have these kind of figures to start investing, start with something. 